Hello everyone, I am Shomesh Janapati, Assistant Professor at Bedang Institute of Technology. In this class, we will study about how to derive hoop stress. So, in our previous class, we have already discussed about thin cylinder. So, in case of thin cylinder, the three stresses are generated there. So, our first stress is about hoop stress that is also termed as circumferential stress. Okay. So, next is our longitudinal stress and radial stress. So, radial stress is generally neglected because the low magnitude. So, here. So, in case what is hoop stress that the stress which is developed in circumferential direction due to pressure generated by what? Your fluid. So, as we know, here, yes, as we know that the diameter of the cylinder is here, this to this is your di and this is your thickness of the metal, thickness of the cylinder. So, here, this cylinder is completely filled with high pressure fluids. So, this high pressure fluid always wants to burst and make the metal to form into, to burst or crack into form into pieces. Okay. So, here. So, our hoop stress is denoted by sigma c or as it is hoop stress you can also denote it as sigma h. We know that the formula for hoop stress is what? Pd upon 2t. So, in this expression we will prove how this sigma c is equal with Pd by 2t. So, Okay, to prove this, we need to consider a thin cylinder. In previous class, we have already discussed what is thin cylinder. As in case of thin cylinder, the thickness of the metal will be less than what? Your dy 20. Okay, that is this d is your what? this internal diameter okay and so your thickness of the metal will be less than 1 by 20th of internal diameter also you can express it with di upon t greater or equal to 2 these types of equations are normally comes in your objective type questions We need to remember these things. Okay. So, what we will learn here? By this notebook, we will learn how to consider the thin cylinder and as we have already known that, what? One bursting force is generated there. To resist that bursting force, we, the metal, generate one resisting force. Okay. You can learn here if think it as what your metal piece. So, this is your what thickness of the metal. So, by doing this or close these two sides here, let this is your cylinder. So, what happens here? The high pressure intensity fluid is here. So, this fluid wants to burst, okay, this fluid, if this is the fluid, so it wants to burst like this, in this direction, okay, so it will burst, okay, so what it will form, so this cylinder after burst, it will form into like this structure here, and this is the one part of the cylinder after bursting, okay. So, the pressure inside pressure will be like this and to resist the bursting force, there is some resistance force 
from what? From your metal. So, to solve what? Sigma C as 2T, sorry. We need to know what is bursting force and what is resisting force. So, your bursting force is here. The bursting force generated by your pressure, the inside pressure of the what? Your cylinder. To resist the bursting force, we will have the have the force generated by what? Our metal. So, here you can find the thickness of the metal. So, as we know from what? Newton's third law that every action has equal and opposite reaction. So, if here the bursting force is anything, let 100. So, to resist the bursting force, we need what? The resistance force. So, the resistance force is also what? It will be 100 also. So, to equalize this, we can write So, how to find out the bursting force? So, bursting force is generated by what? Our pressure. So, we can write it here. P is equals to F by A. Now, what is F and what is A? From this diagram, also you can draw here. Okay, let's here this is your internal diameter di and here for thickness of metal. What happens? This is only your thickness. So, what happens in case here? Okay. The force generated by fluid will act like this, okay. And to resist the bursting force or this force, the metal will give force like in this direction. So, so the force, the force for the what? Your bursting force, we can term it as your FB and also in which area the bursting force is acted? We can write it as what? The only bursting force is here, only in your internal diameter along this length. Take this length as your L. So, we can write P equals to FB into divided by D into L. Also, we can write this like this. FB is equals to P into D into L. Here, we got our what? Equation 1. Now, what is resistance force and how to find out that? Here, the bursting force is resisted by what? Is resisted by what? Only this to this. We can understand here. Only this metal piece is resisting the whole bursting force. So, we can write resistance force is what? As we know, sigma C is equals to F upon A. So, this F will be our resistance force. 
ओके आज वी नो वट दिस होप स्ट्रेस इज पार्ट ऑफ द स्ट्रेस फॉर वट टू कंट्रोल द टू और टू रेजिस्ट द यो हाई प्रेशर फ्लूड ओके सो दिस फोर्स विल बी यो रेजिस्टिंग फोर्स एंड वी कैन टेक दिस एरिया एज रेजिस्टिंग एरिया सो नाउ ऑल्सो वी कैन राइट इट एफ आर इक्वल्स टू सिग्मा सी इंटू ए आर ओके बाय अनदर डायग्राम इफ ओनली फॉर द थर्ड रेजिस्टेंस फोर्स दिस मेटल पीस इज रेजिस्टिंग द वर्ड यो बस्टिंग फोर्स सो वी कैन टेक वर्ड द थिकनेस फर्स्ट फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एरिया वी विल टेक द थिकनेस ऑफ द मेटल पीस ओके सो इफ इन केस ऑफ टू नो अबाउट रेजिस्टेंस फोर्स वी विल लर्न वर्ड दिस वी हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ डायग्राम सो हियर वी गेट वर्ड टी एंड दिस लेंथ इज योर वर्ड एल so if we turn this into this so as here t t is applying so also this is also this thickness is also we are considering for resistance force so we can write this as t into l plus T into L for this side and for this side. So now we can also write sigma C is equals to two into T into L. Now we got what F B and F R. as we have already know about what that bursting force is equal with resistance resisting force so by equalizing this two we will get so our sigma c it is your what circumferential stress here we will get what p d l upon 2 t l so we can cancel the length from this and this now we will get what sigma c equals to pd upon 2t as per our formula so here the p is what p is our internal pressure generated by fluid okay next is your what do we get d that is also your internal diameter 
of thin cylinder. Next is our T that is thickness of metal. So, if these three is given, we can find out sigma C that is our circumferential stress or hoop stress. So, I hope you understand this, how to get this, how we get this formula from this expression. So, in next class, we will learn about how to derive our longitudinal stress. Thank you so much.